uh, our first action item is a resolution in support of Transgender Day of Visibility. Can I get a motion with respect to this resolution? Go ahead, Nate. I move that the board approve the resolution in support of Transgender Day of Visibility, March 31st, 2023. Ac excellent. Uh, can I get a second? Uh, Jess has got a second there. That's great. And I believe, Brian, we have some uh, folks here to talk with us about this resolution. Yes, thank you. Joining us this evening to speak to the resolution uh -huh. is our LGBTQIA plus coordinator, Ms. Shana Sychek. Welcome, Shana. Uh, well, hello. Uh, I am Shana Sychek. Uh, pronouns are she, her, and I'm the LGBTQIA plus coordinator for the district. Um, and I'm here to introduce two of our amazing Rocky Mountain High School students who will be speaking to the resolution itself. Um, so before that, thank you uh, to the board and superintendent for always striving uh, to support all of our students and make sure that they feel welcomed and affirmed in our schools um, and for calling out those students um, who hold identities that need uh, some additional and intentional efforts because of historical marginalization and discrimination um, against certain communities of folks. So, um, and thank you for, uh, to our students, uh, families and support systems for being here tonight and for sharing your student with us. And um, absolutely thank you to, ahead of time, to our two student speakers for allowing us to witness um, your story, your experience, and your advocacy tonight. Um, and it, it always is an honor to, to hear and see student stories um, and the way in which you're striving to make your schools, the district, and the community better um, for folks. So thank you too for being here as well. And I'll go ahead and introduce our first student speaker. Um, so one, first- Excuse me, one point of order. Thanks very much for the introduction. We, I, I made a mistake. Uh, I wanted to get the resolution read before we actually did this. Can, is that okay? Can we do that? And yeah. normally, we, and, no, and, no, and normally we, I mean, I, I didn't want to interrupt your flow, but I think it's important. And normally we have the resolution on the screen as well. So we want to make sure that that's, that's there as well to support, uh, to support what, what's going on here. All right. So go ahead. Point, uh, just for clarification that might be good is that we are meeting quorum because we have people online. Yeah, we have, so you, well, we have so, enough. Uh, yeah, I just announced it to okay the that's fair yes uh would somebody would one of the board members like to read the resolution go ahead jess we'll let jess do it if it's okay uh resolution in support of transgender day of visibility march 31st 2023 Whereas Transgender Day of Visibility is an awareness day that is internationally recognized every March 31st to honor and celebrate the achievements, contributions, and activism of transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming individuals while bringing awareness to the discrimination and violence in commu the community faces. And whereas Poudre School District is committed to providing a welcoming, supportive, inclusive, and safe educational environment to our students, employees, and community members regardless of gender identity. And whereas the board wholeheartedly embraces Poudre School District's transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming students, employees, and community members for the perspective, ex experience, advocacy, and diversity they bring to our schools and workplaces. And whereas the board administration and staff recognize that there is more work ahead of us as we strive to ensure that in Poudre School District, transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming students, employees, and community members do not face discrimination or harassment based on their gender identity. And instead, they are seen, accepted, and celebrated for who they fully are. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Poudre School District Board of Education that March 31st, 2023 is proclaimed Transgender Day of Visibility in Poudre School District. The Board of Education encourages students and staff to recognize, honor, and celebrate the dignity, humanity, and courage of our transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming students, employees, and community members. Thanks for reading that, Jess. And again, I apologize for not getting things in order, and I turn it back to you to, to uh, introduce the students. Thank you. 
Yeah, thanks. Well, that's the resolution that the students are going to be speaking to. Uh, so our first student speaker is Ash, uh, whose pronouns are they, them. Ash is a trans and non-binary activist and advocate from Rocky, and they previously successfully advocated um, for the now implemented updates to the Colorado um, Social Studies Academic Standards to include history um, from folks holding diverse identities. So please join me in welcoming Ash to the podium. We're here, we're queer. We deserve to be heard and seen. As a genderqueer, transgender, and non-binary individual, I know what it's like to be ignored, to be erased. Local governments across the nation are trying to eradicate us from public life. They're trying to stop us from being safe. They're trying to stop us from being ourselves. And schools are at the forefront of this battle. Acknowledging Trans Day of Visibility may not seem like much, but it's an important step. It's important that they see that not all of us will be intimidated by state persecution and bigotry. I speak here for my brothers and siblings and sisters in Tennessee, in Utah, in Texas, in Florida and North Dakota. I speak for my comrades who cannot. I have friends in these places, trans friends, whose right to be existing is taken away. We cannot let this happen to our state or to our district. I'm imploring the board to adopt the resolution because I believe that we deserve to be seen and known for who we are. We deserve to know that we have allies who are fight for our ability to be seen and recognized. This is history repeating itself. Those who oppose trans rights and recognition are failing an open note test. We are at the forefront of a movement and we will not be erased. Please recognize us. Take a step towards the future. Show the world that we are accepting of diversity in Pooter School District. Show the world that we will not be silenced because silencing us is violence. Recognizing Trans Day of Visibility isn't going to single-handedly stop the persecution of trans individuals in this country, but it will send a powerful message to those who wish to intimidate us. We will not be intimidated. We're here, we're queer, and we deserve to be heard. We deserve to be seen. Thank you. Our next student speaker is Roman, um, also from Rocky Mountain High School, and Roman's pronouns are he, him, and they, them. And uh, he's gonna share more about his identities and experience um, in his speech, so I won't share any of those now, uh, but also now join me in welcoming them to the podium. Thanks. Um, I'll have to apologize beforehand that mine is a little bit longer than Ash's, so. Just everyone sit tight, because I think it, I have a lot to say today, so I'm really excited to share. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me here today. My name is Roman Sudrath, as Shana said, and I am a transgender and gender fluid student at Rocky Mountain High School. I'm a leader in my school's Gender and Sexuality Alliance, and I attend a few other LGBTQ plus groups outside of school hours. I'm here today to talk about the trans community and what the benefits of having a trans day of visibility could be. For a little bit of context, I've been out as trans for about five years now, from seventh grade to 11th grade. If you were to ask me what I thought the biggest challenge I've observed the transgender youth community to face, five years ago, I would have said dealing with transphobia from parents. Today, I would say dealing with transphobia from parents. So in that regard, nothing has changed. In my time participating in LGBTQ plus activities, I've met around 100 to 150 transgender individuals, and the majority of them also have another shared trait, one that's more unfortunate to think about, and that's the complicated relationship they have with their parents because of their transgender identities. I won't get into too much detail for the sake of their safety, but I've never known stories about accepting parents to bring tears to so many people's eyes. Stories about parents who do not gaslight or question a kid about their pronouns and who instead try their best every day to get them right. Stories about parents who do not restrict their children from gender affirming care, like binders or bras, cutting or growing out hair, 
or in some older cases, starting gender-affirming hormones. These stories often don't happen nearly enough as they should, and so they often strike a chord of grief in many transgender people because they have been denied the same basic necessities for so long by their own supposed caregivers. I myself am a rare example of a transgender individual whose parents let them start testosterone at age 15. And let me say I've never been more comfortable in my voice and my body than I am now. I have not once regretted my decision to do it either. I feel like the luckiest kid in the world to have parents who listened to me and my needs at the time. Now, at this point, you may be wondering to yourself, why are they talking about parents and a board that, you know, regards schools instead of parents? Well, my lovely board and staff members, I say this because we sadly cannot change the way that many parents choose to raise their children, but we can realize and acknowledge that for many transgender kids, school is their escape. It may not feel like a completely safe place for these kids, but it is commonly a place a kid would rather be than at home. This is an exceedingly integral fact to keep in mind as we make our schools safer and something we absolutely need to highlight as we think about having a trans day of visibility in our schools. Right now, you have the power to take steps to make our schools safer and more welcoming for transgender youth. You have the power to make sure teachers are educated on and held accountable to making their classroom and activities transgender friendly. Whether that be from calling out cisgender students when they make transphobic jokes or say transgender slurs, asking students which name and pronouns to use in class versus with their parents, or even simple things like knowing where the gender neutral bathrooms are and being able to point out where they are to transgender youth. Sorry, I lost my <laughs> see. Even more so, you have the power to go beyond making schools safe for transgender people, but you can also make sure that they are welcoming and friendly to trans people. One way you could do this would be to encourage your teachers to learn about and teach transgender transgender history. Unbeknownst to many, transgender and non-binary individuals or those from cultures, cultures with similar concepts have been around for millennia in many different forms. Erasure has been a long-term form of oppression used against a vast variety of marginalized communities and the transgender community is one of them. So by not including this in the historical curriculum, as packed as it is, <laughs> schools become part of the problem. I, myself, have been taught so little about transgender identities in the schools I have attended. We may as well just not exist. And if I've learned anything about being trans from my cisgender peers, it would be not to come to school looking gender nonconforming, or you may be either obnoxiously laughed at, whispered transphobic comments at, or more strangely, meowed or barked at. And that's just sad, right? that the most I've been taught about my identity at school is the fact that I deserve to be made fun or persecuted for it. It would be a miracle at this point if we even had one day to talk about these things. Oh, what's that you say? There's a chance for us to have a day like that, a day where we can, one, focus on the importance of long-term education of teachers and staff members on how to be better allies towards trans students, and two, take the time to learn and share about transgender history, a transgender day of visibility. What a brilliant idea. Once again, thank you for having me here and listening to what I had to say. I hope you all keep in mind the points I made today because I truly believe that they are beneficial to a safer environment for the transgender community in our schools. Thank you very much. Really, really, uh, really thought provoking and inspiring remarks from the students. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Are, are there uh, board members who wish to uh, ask questions, make comments with regard to the resolution? Go ahead, Jess. Well, it's not really with the resolution, but thank you so much for coming and sharing your story, advocating for yourselves and your peers. Um, thanks for holding us accountable as the adults. Thank you. Absolutely, that's great. 
Jim or ja or sorry, Jim or Kristen, do you have something you want to add? They're on uh, remote. Yes, if I could. Sure. All right. Um, Ash and Roman, um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sharing with the board and our entire community um, your authentic selves. It is so important um, that we see and hear and um, it, it is just, it's, it's an amazing thing. So thank you so much. Um, I just, I wanna say a couple of things if I can. So I may take a, a minute or two if that's all right. Um, the reason that Transgender Day of Visibility or one of the reasons Transgender Day of Visibility is so important is we have to be talking about a couple of things. Um, one is with our staff. I just want our staff to know that supportive educators save lives. End of sentence. Supportive educators save lives. It has been shown that even knowing that LGBTQ allies exist um, at schools creates a more welcoming, safe, and environment for students to learn. And that's why we're here. So if you get nothing else out of this, I want staff to remember supportive educators save lives. For parents, um, I know this can be a difficult thing sometimes that parents uh, may be struggling with. Um, there are ways that um, there are groups out there that can help with an education piece of it and can help with an education piece for staff members too. Um, luckily this Saturday, PFLAG will be hosting a, what they're calling figuring it out um, group. And that is just a group from 1030 to 1230 that is learning the very basics of what it means to be transgender, um, the, the vocabulary that comes with that. Um, it's an educational opportunity for the entire community. So I encourage parents um, and staff members and community members to join people in that and educate yourself on what this is. Um, to the students, um, Roman, Ash, all of your peers, I know how scary it is right now. Um, it is disheartening. Um, sit down and watch the, the nightly news, um, read the paper, um, hear the hateful rhetoric that is just about everywhere. I want you to know that you have support. I want you to know that you are seen, heard, loved, valued, and we need you here. We need you here in PSD. We need you to um, continue doing what you're doing to advocate for yourselves, for your peers, continue holding us accountable. Um, and for those of you who are, are not comfortable um, coming and speaking, that's quite all right. Find someone in your school who you can talk to. Find an adult in your life, a coach, a teacher, a parent, a family member, somebody who you can reach out and talk to because you don't have to go through this alone. Um, those are just some of the reasons why trans day visibility is so important. And for the community at large, remember this is about our children's lives and about their safety to learn. So thank you very much. Thanks, Kristen. Other thoughts? Yep, go ahead, Brian. So Ashton Roman, uh, thank you for being brave, for being vulnerable, and for modeling for all of us how to be builders of community rather than destroyers. Once a month in this room, we passionately look to the flag behind me and say the Pledge of Allegiance, which talks about all of us collectively standing under one nation indivisibly with justice for all. Not for some, not for a few, not for the most or the majority, but justice for all. And I question our community, do we really mean it when we say it? The things that you shared today are our basic human rights. For us as a society, as a community, as a school district, to see you simply as valid as human, to treat you with dignity and with respect, to welcome you, to make sure that you are belong and are affirmed. 
and I couldn't be more proud to be in an organization that not only has a day of visibility, but takes through action, not just words, ways to be able to support you and others who identify similarly to you. So thank you so much for being here. You make us very proud. All right. I think with that, then, we will call for a vote on the resolution. Jill, if you would do that, please. DJ Anderson? Aye. Jim Brokish? Aye. Nate Donovan? Aye. Kristen Draper? Aye. Rob Pedersen? Aye. Jessica Zamora? Aye. Motion passes 6-0.